The Jack Benny Program, transcribed and presented by Lucky Strike. The cigarette that's toasted to taste better. If you want better taste from your cigarette, Lucky Strike is the brand to get. It's toasted to give you the best taste, yet it's the toasted, toasted cigarette. This is Don Wilson. As cigarette smokers, you and I know the most important single thing any cigarette can offer is taste, better taste. And as many millions of lucky smokers will tell you, luckies taste better. You know why? Because it's toasted. Yes, it's toasted to taste better. Lucky's better taste actually begins with the fine tobacco that goes into every lucky strike. LSMFT, lucky strike means fine tobacco. And then that fine tobacco is toasted. It's toasted. That's the famous Lucky Strike process that tones up Lucky's naturally mild, good-tasting tobacco, brings it to its peak of flavor, makes it taste even better, cleaner, fresher, smoother. So for better taste in your cigarette, be happy, go lucky. Buy a carton of better-tasting Lucky Strike. <laughs> Lucky Strike program starring Jack Benny with Mary Livingston, Rochester, Dennis Day, Bob Crosby, and yours truly. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, tonight Jack Benny does another of his TV programs over the CBS television network. But meanwhile, let's go out to Jack's home in Beverly Hills, where, as you know, he lives alone with his butler, Rochester. It's 9.30 in the morning, and as usual, one is in bed while the other is in the kitchen preparing breakfast. Now, let's see. Where are the eggs? <laughs> Gee, it's so hard to find anything in this refrigerator. Maybe I ought to trade it in. I hear the newer models have a light in them. <laughs> Oh, here's an egg on the bottom shell. Pretend you're happy when you're blue. Should I have one egg or take two? <laughs> eh, one egg's enough. I just said two so it would rhyme. I think I'll scramble it. Let's see now. First, I'll break it into this bowl. Hmm. Gosh, I'm weak in the morning. <laughs> Maybe I better have my orange juice first. Yeah, I'll make some orange juice. Da dee da dum dum dee da doom. Gee, that orange juice sure looks good. Now to get the seeds out. It is one, two, three, four, five. I think I'll go outside and... Nah, it would take them years to grow. <laughs> Pretend you're happy when you're blue. Da 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 da. Now who can that be? Hello? Hello, this is Roos's jewelry store in Beverly Hills. Yes? Yeah. The diamond necklace with the emerald pendant you ordered is ready, and we can deliver it today. Please have your check for twelve thousand dollars ready. <laughs> Look, uh, this is Jack Benny. Uh, you must have the wrong number. Must have? I haven't been this wrong since I invited my mother-in-law to live with us. <laughs> hmm. What reason would I have to buy a diamond necklace? Looks silly on me. <laughs> now to have my own... Say, that's funny. The glass is empty. Somebody drank my orange juice. There's nobody in the house but Rochester. 
That's it, Rochester. Wait till I... Rochester, Rochester, did you drink my orange juice? <laughs> Rochester, you're not fooling me. Get up. Rochester. I know I'm cute, honey, but control yourself. <laughs> hmm, maybe he is asleep. I'll tickle him and wake him up. <laughs> Rochester oh, oh, it's you, boys What a disappointment Now, Rochester, I made a glass of orange juice I went in the next room to answer the phone And when I came back, the orange juice was gone Maybe the mice drank it Mice don't drink orange juice In California? <laughs> All right, I know you drank it But we'll talk about it later now, get out of the bed. I, I want you to drive me down to the doctor's office. I got to go for a physical. What's the matter, boss? You feel bad? No, no. It's just that my sponsor is taking out an insurance policy on me, and I have to be examined. Uh, how much is the policy for? A million dollars. But if I'm killed accidentally, the sponsor collects two million dollars. Two million? Yes. Boss, you better watch your step. I hear your sponsor's hobby is rifle shooting. <laughs> oh, I'm not worried about that. He does his target practice on a range way out at Sunset in Westwood. I don't even pass there on my way home. I know, but for $2 million, they can make a bullet that waits for you at Pico and Sepulveda. <laughs> what are you talking about? My sponsor just trying to protect his investment, that's all. Now hurry downstairs. Imagine him denying that he drank that orange juice. We've got a good notion to make him stay in bed all day. No, he'd like that. Hmm. I better squeeze another orange. Well, that does it. Oh, Jack. Jack, are you up yet? Huh? Oh, hello, Mary. Come on in. I'm in the kitchen. What are you doing here so early? Early? I was here a few minutes ago. I came into the house, walked into the kitchen. Nobody was there, so I drank a glass of orange juice and left. Mary, you... You drank my... All right, here's a dime. <laughs> here's a dime, here's a dime. Don't be so sarcastic. I made a terrible mistake. I accused Rochester of drinking my orange juice. Well, that's you, Jack. Always jump to conclusions. Always what? <laughs> Jumping to conclusions. I do not. What, what about that morning you got out of bed and accused Rochester of taking your new suit? Well. Then you took off your nightgown and there it was. <laughs> well, that wasn't my fault. When I come home tired, he's supposed to undress me. Well, anyway, I drank your orange juice and you ought to apologize to Rochester. Oh, Mary, I don't have to apologize. He knows I'm sorry. He does not, and you've got to tell him. Oh, Mary, I can't. You can too. Now, be a man. Oh, hello, Miss Limson. Hello, Rochester. Mr. Benny has something to say to you. Oh. Jack, go ahead. <laughs> well. Jack. Oh, all right. Rochester. Turn around and face him. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Go on. Well. Rochester. Yes, boss? I'm sorry I said you drank my orange juice. <laughs> Jack, come back here! <laughs> I will not. Oh, what a baby. Well, I better get the car out. I gotta take Mr. Benny to the doctor. The doctor? What for? The sponsor took out an insurance policy and Mr. Benny has to be examined. Rochester. Oh, you're back. Yes. Rochester, get the car now and we'll go. Now, I've got to hurry, Mary, so you... Oh, darn it, there's the phone. Just when I'm ready to leave. Hello? Hello, Jack. Guess who this is? Huh? Who is this? I'm in a hurry. I'll give you a hint. Roses are red, violets are blue, sugar is sweet, and I'm lumpy, too. <laughs> Don, I have 
to rush away. <laughs> What'd you call me for? Well, Jack, I've got the sportsman here, and we've got a wonderful idea for a commercial. But, Don, I don't want to hear it over the phone. You can wait to rehearsal. Anyway, I don't like the songs they've been picking lately. Why don't they pick something classy once in a while? Classy? That's exactly what this one is. Don, you've been saying for years that these commercials are classy, and that quartet always winds up going crazy. Uh, at this time, Jack, you love this one. Oh, I will, eh? Well, let me hear it. Are the boys close to the phone? Hmm. All right, Don, let me hear it. Take it, boys. They warned me when you kissed me, your love would ricochet. Your lips would find another, and your heart would go astray. I thought that I could hold you with all my manly charms. But then one day you ricocheted to someone else's arms. And baby, I don't want a ricochet romance. I don't want a ricochet love. If you're careless with your kisses, find another turtle dove. I can't live on ricochet romance. No, no, not me. If you're gonna ricochet, baby, I'm gonna set you free. I knew the day I met you, you had a roving eye. I thought that I could hold you, what a fool I was to try. You promised you'd be faithful, and you would never stray. Then like a rifled bullet, you began to ricochet, but baby, I don't want a ricochet romance, I don't want a ricochet love, you and me are through forever, find another turtle love, thanks for all those gifts you gave me, those lucky strikes, let's forget and light up a lucky, that's the one I like, I'll be happy popping a lucky, I can count on luckies I know, always with me when I travel, fully packed and ready to glow, always cleaner, fresher and smoother, the best smoke yet, let's be happy, happy go lucky, what a cigarette, let's be happy, happy go lucky, let's light a lucky strike. Now, why is it they always start out so nice and then go crazy? <laughs> we can't use that commercial. That's, it's too noisy. Anyway, where did they get that gun? They found it on a bench at Pico and Sepulveda. <laughs> no! <laughs> What's that, Jack? Nothing, nothing. I'll see you at rehearsal. <laughs> I thought Rochester was only guessing. Well, I'm going to have my orange juice and then go. Come on, Rochester, let's... Well, look who's here. Hello, everybody. I came in through the kitchen. Oh. Oh, hello, Dennis. Hello, Mr. Benny, and thanks for the orange juice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for heaven's sake. What do you think this is, a cafeteria? Yes. yes. <laughs> look at kid. It's not just the orange juice. It's the principle. I'm trying to conserve food. Oh, well, my mother conserves food every night. Well, she deserves a lot of credit. How does she do it? When it's time for dinner, she locks me in a closet. Dennis. But last night I got even with her. I ate the doorknob. <laughs> what? Now every little thing turns my stomach. <laughs> Look, kid, I haven't had my breakfast yet. Leave me alone. <laughs> What brings you over here, anyway? Well, I got a brand new arrangement for my song, and I thought maybe you wanted to hear it. Uh, well, do I have to hear it now? I mean, so early? Oh, it isn't early, Mr. Benny. I'm up and dressed and out of the house at 5 o'clock every morning. 5 o'clock? What for? The buses aren't crowded. <laughs> Dennis, where do you have to go at 5 o'clock in the morning? No place, but I get a seat. <laughs> Here, kid, have a doorknob. <laughs> Jack, not in the head. <laughs> Look, Dennis, you sing your song for Mary, and she'll tell me how it is. I've got to have breakfast and rush away to the doctor. Oh, I don't blame you. You look awful. <laughs> what? 
<laughs> Sing, kid. You said it. I'll see you kids later. Goodbye. <laughs> Cantar se vuelve gitano cuando es para ti. Mi cantar hecho de fantasía. Mi cantar flor de melancolía. Embrujo de los ojos moros De rosas de suave fragancia Que le dieran marco a la virgen morena Rochester, we're awfully late. Can't you go a little faster? Okay. You know, right after my, I take my physical, we'll go down to the... <laughs> Rochester! Rochester, they got me! <laughs> they got me! Get back in the seat, boss! That was a tire! <laughs> yeah, I should have known we're only at Pico and Roxbury. <laughs> Rochester, you change the tire, and I can walk to the doctor's office from here. You know? Let me see. His office should be around here. Oh, there it is. Doctors Fenchel and Gordon. <clears throat> yes, sir. Uh, how do you do? I'm, I'm Jack Benny. Oh, yes. You have an appointment for a physical examination. That's right. Well, I'll have to fill out this card first. Name, Jack Benny. That's right. Uh, your address? Uh, 366 North Camden Drive. Your complexion? Ruddy. <laughs> Color of your eyes? Lazy Lagoon Blue. <laughs> Your height? Uh, five foot ten. Your weight? 157. Uh, now, I'll just slip this band around your arm. There. Hey, this is awfully tight. What is it? A lie, detector. The next question is your age. <laughs> <laughs> now, wait a minute. I don't need a lie, detector, to tell you my age. I'm 39. <laughs> Look, a lie detector can be wrong, too, you know. Well, Mr. Benny, if you'll just sit over there and wait, the doctors will see you in a minute. Well, thank you. How do you like that, using a lie detector when she asked my age? None of the other nurses ever did that. They ask me my age, I tell them I'm 39, they put down whatever they think. <laughs> I've got a good mind to absolutely... Well, so long, Doctor, and thanks a lot. Bob! Oh, hello, Jack. Bob, Crosby, what are you doing here? Well, they took this X-ray of me, and I, I just picked it up. Oh. Say, what's the writing down in the corner of the X-ray? The name of the doctor? Oh, no. No, no, it says to Brother Bing with love. 
I'm giving it to him for his birthday. Bob, well, why in the world would you give Bing an X-ray for a present? Well, he's got everything else. <laughs> well, that's logical. Might I take a look at it, Bob? Well, sure. Go ahead, Jack. Let me see. Bob, nothing shows in this X-ray. Why is it so blurry? Oh, well, you have to use Polaroid glasses. It's three-dimensional. <laughs> no kidding. Jack, what are you doing here? Oh, it's nothing. I just came for an insurance examination. See, the sponsor's taking out a million-dollar policy on me. A million dollars? Uh-huh. Well, who's going to pay the five dollars for the medical exam? You or the sponsor? The Blue Cross. I found a loophole. <laughs> So long, Bob. So long. Oh, Mr. Benny, the doctor will see you now. Thank you. Oh, doctor. Doctor. Yeah. <laughs> well, doctor, here I am. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Bolton's Mortuary. <laughs> what? I'm having lunch with Ralph Bolton. Oh. We're quite friendly. I throw him a lot of business. <laughs> I see. Uh, hello, Ralph. One thirty at the Brown Derby? If I. Goodbye, Ralph. I like going out with him. He drives such a big car. <laughs> Now, Mr. Benny, I'll get my associate in here and we'll give you your examination. Oh, Dr. Gordon? Uh, yes, Dr. Franchel? Uh, will you help me with this examination? <laughs> uh, this is Mr. Benny. Oh, uh, pleased to meet you, Dr. Gordon. Uh, thank you. Now, Mr. Benny, will you please strip? <laughs> you mean undress? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Doctor, I don't need the music. Well, I'm sorry. Our last patient was Tassel's Latour. <laughs> oh. Uh, now get behind that screen and take off your clothes. Yes, sir. Uh, when you're ready, Dr. Fenchel and I will be in the next room. Oh, Doctor, I've been concerned about that call you made this morning. Any information yet? Yeah, I, I got a report from Dr. Stanley, and, and it's all over. Uh, what was the result? She ran fifth and we lose four bucks. <laughs> I wonder what's taking Mr. Benny so long. Mr. Benny, you got all your clothes off? Yeah, yeah. Well, then come out from behind that screen. Well, gee, don't I get balloons or anything? <laughs> Just slip on this gown. Yes, sir. There, I'm ready. Very well. Uh, now, Mr. Benny, will you please step behind this fluoroscope? Yes, sir. Uh, contact. Contact. Well, <laughs> there seems to be a round metallic object near your kidney. Oh, that's a quarter I swallowed years ago. <laughs> uh, shall we, Dr. Gordon? Why not? Uh, Mr. Benny, will you please hiccup? Hiccup? Yeah. Uh, it's tails, Dr. Gordon, you lose. <laughs> what is this, anyway? Now, hold still, Mr. Benny. We want to examine your stomach through the fluoroscope. Yes, sir. The spleen seems to be okay, and the pancreas is in the right position. Yeah, yeah, but look at the liver. In the liver? Yeah, what's that on top of it? Well, I'll be darned. Onion! <laughs> Sixty-nine cents at Rexall. <laughs> uh, now, Mr. Benny, uh, drink this glass of barium. You mean all that white stuff? Yes. It's a harmless chemical, and when you drink it, we can follow its course through the fluoroscope. Oh, all right. Mmm. Here, it tastes awful. You drink it all. Mm. <laughs> there. Oh, look, Dr. Fenchel. The barium has reached the esophageal entrance. 
There it goes over the cricoid cartilage behind the tracheal bifurcation and through the arch of the aorta. Now it's passing the esophageal hiatus of the diaphragm. But passes Pico and Sepulveda, it's dead. <laughs> The esophageal gastric junction. What? It's passing the kidney on the outside, <laughs> headed into the home stretch. It's barium sulfate by two lengths. Come on, native dancer! <laughs> it's barium by a nose! Native dancer is second, and here comes Tassel's Latour! <laughs> doctor, doctor, what is this? <laughs> What's going on here? Uh, well, uh, that's all. The examination is over. You can go now. Well, thank you. <laughs> Oh, Mr. Benny. Yes? You better put your clothes on. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> I forgot. I'll put my clothes on. A pretty girl is like a melody. Da dee da 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 da. <laughs> Jack will be back in a minute to tell you about his television program, which goes on immediately after this show. But first, the sweetheart of Lucky Strike, Miss Dorothy Collins. If you want better taste from your cigarette, Lucky Strike is the brand to get. It's toasted to give you the best taste, yet it's the toasted Cigarettes, they take fine tobacco, it's light tobacco, it's mild tobacco, too. And it's toasted, yes, it's toasted Because the toasting brings the flavor right through So to get better taste from your cigarette Lucky Strike is the brand to get It's toasted to give you the best taste Yet it's the toasted cigarette That's something to remember, friends If you want better taste from your cigarette Lucky Strike is the brand to get Yes, because it's toasted to taste better now, first of all, Lucky's taste better because they're made of fine tobacco. L-S-M-F-T, Lucky Strike means fine tobacco, naturally mild, good-tasting tobacco. And then that tobacco is toasted. It's toasted. The famous Lucky Strike process tones up Lucky's naturally mild, good-tasting tobacco to make it taste even better, cleaner, fresher, smoother. Keep that in mind. And for a better-tasting smoke every time, Make your cigarette Lucky Strike. Ladies and gentlemen, I was going to tell you about my television show, but we're a little late, so tune in and watch it. Good night, folks. <laughs> the Jack Benny Show tonight was written by Milt Josephsberg, John Tackerberry, Al Goldman, Al Gordon, and produced and transcribed by Hilliard Mark. Filter smokers, true tobacco taste, real filtration, famous Tariton quality. They're all yours when you smoke Filter Tip Tariton. Filter Tip Tariton gives you all the full, rich taste of Tariton's quality tobacco and real filtration, too. Because Filter Tip Tariton incorporates activated charcoal, renowned for its unusual powers of selective filtration. Look for the red, white, and blue stripes on the package. They identify Filter Tip Tariton, the best in filtered smoking. The Jack Benny program is brought to you by the American Tobacco Company, America's leading manufacturer of cigarettes. Be sure to watch Jack Benny on television in a few seconds. This is the CBS Radio Network. <laughs>